Hello girls. Like Rhonda said, my name is Amanda and I am so honored to be here to talk to y'all about the Blessed Virgin Mary. I pray for, uh, by the end of this day, y'all learn something new about the Virgin Mary and y'all begin a life growing closer to her. So, our Blessed Virgin Mary, or more, I like to call her Mama Mary, is one of the most iconic women ever to be known and such a blessing to those who have the opportunity to get to know her and who seek her guidance that always leads her to her son, Jesus Christ himself. So before I talk about Mary, I want to give y'all something cool to ponder about. So Jesus is like the sun in the sky, but more like the sun, S-O-N, and God is the sun. We should all know that the sun in the sky is the source of all life, and it's the reason why we have daytime and why we can see everything. Well, just like we have the sun, we also have the moon in the night sky. Now, we all know the moon does not have its own light, and the moon only shines in the night sky due to the sun that reflects the light on the moon. Well, if God's the sun, that makes Mary being represented as the moon, meaning Mary simply reflects the light that comes from the sun our Lord Jesus Christ. Mary herself does not have her own light, and she simply reflects the light that comes from the sun. So when you look at the night sky and see the beautiful moon illuminating so brightly, uh, like the sun, and since Mary is like the moon, she is given the source of light because of her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I thought that was something really cool to think about. So, back to Mary and Jesus. I first want to tell y'all that Jesus is King, our Lord, and our God. Jesus is fully man and fully God. But second of all, Mary, Jesus' human mother, is the mother of God. And she is also the mother of you and me. And though Mary is not the level of Jesus and God, she is very, very important. And do you know Danger. why? Disconnected. Well, let me tell you this other cool thing. So when your parents are wanting the blessing of children, God blesses them with the most amazing children like y'all. But Mary is different. Mary is special in that Jesus, her child, chose her. She is and the only woman that her child Jesus Christ himself, God, chose Mary to be his mother. That's pretty cool. And what else makes Mama Mary so special and someone we can all look up to is her yes, her faithful yes to God. When God went to Mary through the angel Gabriel, she was not much older than many of you. And Mary was young and she was a faithful girl. She had many plans and dreams just like you and me. She was waiting to get married to St. Joseph. But on that special evening, the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. This was an outstanding greeting and Mary was perplexed. The angel assured her, do not be afraid, and offered her a chance for a lifetime. Mary, confused, as we may have all been too, had faith in God and responded with, here I am. Let it be done to me according to thy word. We all have free will, and the same with Mary. So Mary had to make a decision based only on her faith in God. And she trusted in our Lord God and took a chance and told God yes. And because of this yes is the reason we have Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So just like Mary, you too are not too young to commit your life to God. God calls each one of you to love him and most importantly, to have faith in him. It's never too early to start a journey of your life growing closer to him and giving your
your yes to him just like Mary said yes to God. Now, it's not always easy, just like I'm sure it wasn't easy for Mama Mary. But the faith Mary had, it ended up blessing us all. By following her example, you too can learn to say yes and follow God for the rest of your life. And with Mary as your guide, it's a great journey to be on. So, with that being said, why is it so important that each one of you get to know our Mama Mary? Why should anyone have a relationship with her? Well, you may hear if you go to Mama Mary, then it could take your, way, your love away from Jesus and God. That could not be further from the truth. I'm here telling you girls that Mary is your friend and most importantly, your heavenly mother that loves each one of you and wants nothing more than to bring you to her son, Jesus. Jesus on the cross commanded us to love and respect his mother, Mary. Some of Jesus' last words on the cross that said in John chapter 19, to his disciple, whom he loved, and if y'all don't know the disciple whom he loved, it's St. John, and his mother at the foot of the cross. He said to them, woman, behold your son, and to John, behold your mother. Meaning, if anyone wants to be a disciple of Jesus, a follower of Christ, then we must too take in his mother. He is telling us that the mother is your mother. He is telling us and directing us to go to his Mama Mary and that she will always help you and guide you to him, Jesus. So not only do you have an earthly mother that God commands each of us to love and respect, but also you have a mother in heaven that her son Jesus gave us all on the cross. You are all so honored to have someone like Mama Mary in heaven. I know I am. Someone that God himself loves and knows. Getting to know Mary and asking for her intercession will only increase your love for God and Jesus. Mary is tasked with the mission and to always lead you straight to her beloved son, Jesus. To love Mary and to love Jesus even more. And let's think about it. What a better way to get to know Jesus and from his own mom. So what does this all mean for you? And how can you today apply this in your life? Well, like I stated before, Mary was not much older than a lot of you when she committed her life to God, become the mother of our Lord. How powerful must have her faith been? She is a great example of how we should all be. We should all pray for that kind of faith. And if we do, God will bless each one of you. And we can do amazing things for God, just like our Mama Mary did. The biggest attribute the young Virgin Mary was her willingness to say yes to God's request to be the mother of Christ. Can y'all really imagine that kind of faith? So by each of y'all praying to have faith like mother, what does that look like? Well, God told us exactly what he calls each of us to do. God commands all of us to love the Lord God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself. We can do that in our lives starting today, tomorrow, and always. And by doing this, then you're answering God's call in your life just as Mary did. So let's wrap it up. Have any of y'all ever talked to Mary? And have any of y'all ever thought of her as your heavenly mother? And it's okay if you have not. I hope you all go forth in your life with a new foundation to get to know Jesus through his beloved mother Mary. Now life is a journey. No one expects y'all all to understand this by tomorrow, next month, or even in the next 10 years. I'm here to tell you I'm 37 years old, and guess what? I am still learning, still growing, and God willing, I will spend the rest of my life working and learning about Jesus through his mother. 
And I do know I'm not alone on this journey, and neither are you. The more I lean on Mama Mary to help me grow closer to her son Jesus, I know she will never leave me astray, and she is always and will always lead me to Jesus. I hope and pray that each one of you too grow up and learn more and more about Jesus by getting to know his mother, our Mama Mary. Thank you so much.